Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve a 7x7 Rubik's Cube. So let's get right into it. So I've been getting a lot of questions about the 7x7 tutorial, and a lot of you guys have wanted me to make one, so here's the video. So if you want to get a good budget magnetic 7x7 like the one I have, the links will be in the description. So with all that covered, let's get right into the video. So I have my 7x7 scrambled right here, and if you guys know how to solve a 6x6, this video should come very easy to you. So what you first have to do is you have to make the middle bar and that's the white one so you want to make the first white center and the way you do that is as you can see i have this bar already made so what you do is you move one side down pair those together and then move it up now as you can see the next piece that needs to go there is right here so i can move this piece up like that and then the last one is right there and then you have that whole bar done now what you do is you want to make one of the bars that are next to center bar so the way you do that is i already have this and it's best to look for the convenient bars so if you have a bar with two or more pieces on it then you want to look for it just like this one so i can pair those together just like that and you want to make sure you use all of the faces to do that then i have my last one right here i can move it up then as you can see i can do a youtube put it in that spot move it down and then i have my second bar done now do that same thing for the third bar which is right here so as you can see i have my third bar here and once you get into solving seven by seven this really shouldn't come too hard to you and you don't have to just solve the yellow bars first the way i do it is i do yellow or white so i can do either or or you can do any of the colors on the cube and you don't even need to start with the middle bar but anyway let's get into there so as you can see i have my bar right there and then i can move this back move it up just like that then I have my last piece over here. So I can put it in just like that, move it up, and now that bar is made. So what you wanna do is you wanna do this for the last bar right there. All right, so now I have my whole white center done, and that's the first step, solving the white center. Then we solve the yellow center. So what I need to do first is I want to make the middle bar just like I did, and I have this middle piece that can go right there, and conveniently, mine is already also paired up just like that. So what I can do is I can move it so when I move it up, it's like that. Then what you do is you want to move it to the side, so when you move it down, it doesn't take any other pieces down. So as you can see, I have this bar done but if i put it like that then if i move it down it'll take that down so you want to keep it like that then i have this piece right here which is the last one move it up move it to the side and then move it down then what you do is you want to make one of the other bars that's right here just like i showed you before so now let's start on this outer bar right here so i can move it down because those are both already paired and one of the main tricks for seven by seven is to use what it's giving you so use what the scramble gives you and then use that so you can get it done faster so then i move it up and you don't want to forget to move it up because if you don't move it up then it'll mess up that bar so for example if i were to do it like that I move it down, move these out of the way so it doesn't move any of them up, and then I move it up just like that. Then I have these two. I can pair together just like that. I have that piece that I can put in. And then you want to mainly use this middle layer just like that between the yellow and the white. So I have this piece right here. Then the bar is done. So what I can do is I can move it up. So instead of moving it just to the side once like that, it would also take that down. So you want to do a U2 and then you move it down because that space has no bars. Then you make your third bar. So I have my third bar made right here. And instead of moving it up like that, as you can see, it takes the white out and it builds the three middle rows of that center. So what you want to do is you want to move it up so it's in the same row as one of the other ones. So as you can see, that was in the same row. Then I do a U2. Then when I move it down like that, it restores the white center and it keeps the bars preserved on the yellow one. Then what you do is you make your yellow end bar and insert it like I showed you before. All right, so I put my yellow bar right there and then I'm going to take this piece out just like that. I'm going to solve this bar right here. And then I have that all fixed just like that. And then like I said before, you wanna make them so they're in the same row, move it up, you two, move it down. Then the next step is to solve the rest of these centers. So this is basically the same exact thing as I showed you before where you make the middle bar, then you make the other ones, but you wanna make sure that when you do this and you make your bars, it can be any of the centers. It doesn't just need to be blue or any specific one. It can be blue, orange, green, or red. So what you need to do is you wanna make sure that when you make your bar, you put it vertical so it doesn't get broken up. So if I kept it like that, and this is my middle bar that I'm doing, when I go to make other ones like that, as you can see, it broke it up. So you wanna make it vertical and then it won't get broken up when you make other bars just like that. All right, so now that I have my third center, 
liner done, which you guys should know how to do easily by now. What you want to do is you want to make your fourth one. And I am going to do red because as you can see, I have already a lot of red pieces there. So what I want to do here is I want to do this trick to move this piece there. What you want to do is you want to move it up just like that. Then you do a U, so when it goes down, it's in that spot. Then you want to do the same thing because you can't move any of the slices freely anymore. You just want to pair your bars together. So what I'd recommend doing is using these two centers and utilizing them so that you can pair your bars easier. So a way I would do that is by putting this piece in just like that. And then putting it up there. Then I could do the same thing with that one. And then I could move it like that. And then I have my next bar done. And you want to make your bars using just these two centers. And the rule for this part is if you move a slice up, you need to make sure you move it back down. But you can add in a U turn for that. Like if I were to put this in, I can move it up. Then I can add in a U2 and then I can move it down. But you need to make sure you move it down or else it'll break up a center. All right, so I'm just about finished with my red center. I can finish pairing these up. And another trick that you guys might want to know is that if a red bar comes down, you don't want to break it up. So if I were to pair two pieces together, you want to move them up if you're facing this side. And then if you're facing this side, you want to move them down so that they'll both stay in the back. All right, so now let's do the last two centers. And before I showed you that you did the middle one first, but for this one, it can kind of vary and you can do other ones because sometimes bars are already pre-made, which makes it very easy. So I can make my middle one just like that. Then I can put that one in right there. So I have those two bars. Then I have this bar that I can do right there. And I can put that one in. Now it comes to the more trickier part. And I'm going to teach you this method to put pieces in. So this will make it a lot easier for you guys to put pieces in. Because you can't just solve it all intuitively. You need to put pieces in using a specific method called a commutator. And the way it works is if I were to put this bar in. So I have this one by two bar. And I want to put it right in there. So what I want to do is I want to move it up like that. Then I still keep track that it's right there. Then I do a U prime. I don't want to do a U because then that put the bar in the flow of action. I want to do U prime so it puts it on its own side. Then I move that slice up. Then I do a U, move the first slice that I did down. Then I do a U prime and then I move this slice down. That was the second one. So then as you can see, I put that bar in and then I can do the same thing for these two. And you can use a commutator with one like that. Or you can do it with two like I just showed you. Now, if the centers part kind of confused you, I have a full tutorial on this on my channel. It's called Big Cube Centers that I will probably be updating soon. So you can check that out if you need help. Now, the next part is the free slice edges. So I'm going to show you how to do those. And I also have a full tutorial on that too. So what you want to do is you want to find two edges. Now, the flip algorithm will be on the screen. So the flip algorithm flips one edge. So if I was looking at this red and white edge and I wanted to flip it, so the white would be facing this way and the red, so it would be flipped. That's the flip algorithm. Now then I can pair these two red and white pieces together just like that. And then I have this red and white piece over here too that I can pair it with that also. Now I wanna put a piece in and the way you do that is you put the piece that you wanna put in on the front. So this is the piece that I wanna put in. Then you do R, U prime, R prime. Now if the edge is flipped, you can just do the flip algorithm and then you put it in just like that. So for example, if I also wanna put one in from the bottom, what I do is I can do R prime, then I can do a D move just like that. Then I can do R and then I can slice over. Now you want to do this for all your edges. And as you can see, I messed up my centers, but don't worry, you can fix this later. So what you want to do is you want to do that for all your edges that are on the top and the bottom layer. So you want to do this for all your edges. So there's four on the top and there's four on the bottom, but don't worry about doing the ones in the middle yet. So just like I told you, I have all of my edges paired that are on the top layer and all of them that are on the bottom layer so now i need to start with the middle layer edges so the way that you do this now is you just fix the centers just like i'm showing you right here and now as you can see i have all my centers fixed and i just need to do the ones on the middle layer so how you're going to pair the first one is if you guys know how to do four by four reduction this comes very easy to you so i flip this edge right here and now I'm going to pair it with the other orange and blue, and I'm going to put that edge in the back so I can replace it. So I can pair those so that makes four out of the five little edge pieces correct. Then I can put this edge in, 
to replace it and then I slice back and now I have four of the five edges in there. Now my last one is right over here. Then I already have that in the back so I can flip this one first because as you can see, it wasn't right. And now I, it's in the same slice. So I slice, put that edge in and then slice back. And now I have that one done. So keep doing this method until you have just two unsolved edges left. All right, so now I just have these two edges left. And the way that you're going to do this is you wanna flip the edges to put them in. So how I will do this is I wanna put this edge in right here. So I wanna make it so that they're both the same color on the front. Now before I showed you that they had to be different colors, but now they're the same color. And to put that one in there, what I do is I slice. Once I flip it, it will come back in that slice. So if I flip it, then it'll go back in that so I flip then as you can see when I slice back it's paired up just like that and then I can do the same thing for my last one Now, I got kind of lucky where I didn't have parity, but this is called parity where you have one edge that's flipped and it's not solved even though all your other edges are solved, this edge isn't solved. So the algorithm that you use for this will be on the screen and I'll show you right here. So it goes like this. And then as you can see, I flipped that, but there still is some other cases, so I'll show you those now. So I just went over the wider moves one, but this is another case. If you came to the last case, then you just combine both of these and then you'll have it solved. So I have this one right here, and then it's basically the same. It's just with a little less wide moves. So the one was with the three layers wide and this one's only with two. And now the last case I'll show you right here. So this is the last case of parity. And as you can see, none of the edges have something matching next to them. So the way that you do it like this is you do the wide one that I showed you first. Then as you can see, it leads you to the skinny one case. So I do that one here. And now as you can see that edge is solved so that's the last step of pairing the edges now as you can see i have all of my edges and all my centers done so i can go straight into three by three stage and three by three stage is when you just solve it like a three by three so on a three by three there's the centers there's the edges and there's the corners and that's the same as there is now so just solve it like a three by three and now it's solved so if you guys have any questions about this tutorial or comments please make sure to drop them in the comment section below and i'll be sure to answer all of them to give you your help thank you guys so much for watching this video if you haven't already please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any other future content make sure to check out my other videos on my channel and i'll catch you all in the next one